Hello, Alex. This will be some video feedback for you on the print ad. Uh, if you have any questions or if I can help you through the end of the term, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Alex, there's many things to like about this. Um, it looks like, you know, the rubric suggests that you use layers, and of course you have, I mean, not suggest, it demands, right? And you've got everything um, on its own layer, which is nice because I can turn things on or off down to the bullets between these lines. Um, you've got a lot of good ingredients. I'm glad you've started to consider some of the hypothetical information, such as address. And I think any, you know, my overall suggestion would be to simplify. Um, there's a bit going on here. Think about visual hierarchy, too. You know, what do you want the viewer to see first? second, last, so forth. Um, it's probably not necessary to repeat the logo, so I'm just going to see what that looks like, you know, maybe turned off. Um, I'm sure it's nice to see that you've got it on layers, as I said. Um, is everything locked? No. Can I move things around? Yes, I can. Um, the other suggestion I have, uh, so let me just, you know, maybe get rid of a few of these things. Oh, I see. You've got this embedded in the image. Um, I... I probably would not do that. Um, I think, you know, just having a logo float as you have up top is plenty. And um, so that's a good job. I like the background photo. You might want to think of ways to maybe simplify your slogan. And I think, you know, in the interest of visual hierarchy, as I suggested before, it could probably could be a lot larger. Or, sorry, yeah, a lot larger. Um, you have, it looks like you have an extra line space in there too. Also, you know, centering type, uh, it's, it's useful sometimes, but um, invitations, you know, I'm thinking poetry sometimes, centers type. But I think uh, it's an older way, old fashioned way, I guess, of arranging type typically. And so, you know, maybe I would suggest um, making everything flush left, rag right. You could simplify your slogan. <clears throat> um, to enjoy, you know, perhaps, I don't know, relax and take a dip. Or maybe that's too wordy too. But um, and then this stuff, all inclusive, you know, it, it's it's nice to have it there, but it, it occupies um, some space and I, I really don't think you need it so you know what does it look like if you if you perhaps repeat those words uh elsewhere um and then similarly here to you know, perhaps make this uh a bit flush left and a bit smaller i see you've got those on their own lines too you know wh whatever you can do to simplify the typography you know this stuff uh the ur and so it can be quite small so i bet you can get it all on a single line and consider some visual uh, vertical axes. You know, I see one beginning to form here alongside the logo there. Maybe that's the, the way, the area to, or the axes, I guess, to uh, align all of your type, flush left. Again, these are suggestions. I'm just uh, thinking of ways to declutter it too a little bit. I don't think you need all these borders, whoops, um, around the, the very competent mask. Is that, oh, I see, you've got that. Wow, how nicely organized this all is. And so I can turn this off. Uh, perhaps, you know, I don't know, it, this may be too uh, trite for you, but, um, you know, perhaps you could have the uh, the crystal, what do you call it, obelisk, I guess, and the amethyst colored flower. Um, I could send this to the back. Mm, I don't know. You know, play with contrast to scale, and I might become ambiguous about what that is. But again, here's a few suggestions for it. Great going. You've got good ingredients. You started to think about the, uh, the copy, and I look forward to seeing how you apply this to the web banner.